So it's been a while since I've made a video, uh, far too long really, but uh, today is officially the day that marks six months I've been in Japan, so I figured I should get around to making another one. Um, and I've decided I really need to stop stressing about what I put in these videos because that's kind of stopped me from making more because I uh, wonder what the individual point of each video will be and then I never get around to making anything. So I'm just going to try and make more videos and just talk and if people like them they can watch them, if they don't they don't. But I'm going to stop worrying about it as much basically. That's the plan anyway. <laughs> Maybe it will be another couple of months before I make another one, but let's hope not. Anyway, so, what's been going on? Well, <clears throat> I have um, handed in my papers to officially transfer my visa, my status of residence, as it's called. Um, so, my my job, uh, I signed, re-signed a contract with them, and they've given me the the paperwork I need to, um, well, they, they spon are sponsoring me, basically, to change my status of residence, and uh, what that means is I had to take all this stuff into immigration and put my papers in, and now I'm waiting on um, receiving the new visa. So before I was on a working holiday visa, which you can have for six months and then renew for a further six months, uh, but I have had it for six months. I'm not renewing it for the further six months because I'm changing over now to a specialist in humanities visa, which essentially is the uh, visa you get if you are a teacher, an English teacher. Um, now, technically, my working holiday visa expires today because I haven't renewed it. Um, and I haven't got my other visa yet, but the way it works is once you put your papers in, you have an extra two months that you can stay in the country um, after your current visa expires. And they reckon that it only takes maximum a month for your new visa to come through, so potentially even less. Anyway, about the actual process, uh, it was f quite easy, actually. Uh, it's a little confusing figuring out exactly what you need when you go to the website, um, the, the Japanese immigration website. It, it's all in English, but um, there's, you know, all the different kinds of visas there are and the different supporting documents you need. So I found... I. I Figured out pretty much what I needed, but to double check, I found it best to actually phone immigration. And uh, they have English speakers there. Um, they gave me the direct website link for the specific main form that I needed. I double checked all the other forms I needed. I had that correct. Um, essentially, all it boiled down to was the main application form, um, my passport my residence card, um, I needed a sheet of paper from my job uh, which basically had some extra information on it, uh, like their statement of profit and loss and just kind of official company details I guess um, and uh, they they do all that, they did all that for me. I mean I had to ask for it but they gave me this official looking sheet of paper. Um, and the application form has two parts. There's half of it you need to fill out, the individual, and half of it your company needs to fill out. Um, I had a little bit of trouble with my company because they kept getting confused and thinking I needed an extension to my visa. I kept saying, no, no, I'm on a working holiday visa. I'm changing my visa. So we had to make sure that we had the change of status of residence and not the extension for period of stay. Anyway, got that sorted out. Uh, went to immigration. Uh, had a bit of a scare because when you <clears throat> when you go in there and you you before you put in your forms, you can line up 
to have them checked by someone to make sure uh, they're correct before you go in the long line and wait ages only to have them tell you that your forms are wrong. Um, so I, I went and got my forms checked and she had a look and she was like, oh, you haven't got everything you need here. And I was kind of a bit annoyed and surprised because it's a bit of a trip and it was a bit of a hassle getting everything sorted. I didn't want to have to come back. Uh, apparently there was there's some sort of company certificate, I guess, proving they're an official company or, or something. I'm not quite sure because when she had a closer look, she was like, oh, actually, no, sorry, you. this is a big company you're working for. Um, you don't need to have that certificate. So for some people doing it, maybe you need that. Something to keep in mind. I don't know. I didn't need it in the end. Um, thankfully, she checked closely and I didn't leave and come back for nothing. Anyway, then I lined up to put my forms in and um, they, they looked through the papers. They're like, yep. They gave me a postcard, which you then take and fill out with simply with your name and address um, and wait for them to call you back up. And I looked up online sort of previous people's experiences and apparently you can be waiting quite a while. Some people wait hours because it can be quite busy, but I guess it was a quiet time. I only had to wait about half an hour. Uh, then you go up, you give them the postcard, they give you your, your passport and your residence card back, and a bit of paper basically says you're allowed to still be in the country after your current visa expires, as I said before. Um, and then what happens is you wait for them, they send you that postcard that you filled out for them. And when you get that postcard, you go back to immigration to pick up your visa. Um, and there are now three potential periods of stay you can get. There used to be just two, one year or three years. Now there is also a five year one that they may grant. Uh, seems to be a bit of a gamble uh, as to which one you get. Um, I put five years down just because the longer the better. Um, a lot of people seem to think that on your first application you tend to only get one year, but I know I found some cases of people getting longer, so I'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, um, so that's uh, that's what's been going on. Also, of course, work and stuff, but um, maybe that's for another video. Uh, if anyone's got any questions about Visa issues, I'd be happy to answer what I can. Alright, so next time, I'm going to make another video soon, I swear, about whatever. It might be boring, but I'm going to do it. So I'll talk to you next time.